Greetings and salutations! My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have more reaction content for you and today we are checking out the next gen and enhanced edition trailer of Chernobylite. Now this is not something like wildly new. I think we've actually already checked out Chernobylite on this channel before. But the, there's a couple reasons that we are looking at this trailer. This game actually was in early access from like October of 2019. It had a full release in July of 2021. And then this version of the game, the next gen and enhanced edition released in April of 2022. So only like a week or two before this video is actually being recorded and coming out and all that jazz. But this is a game that when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I like that a lot. And everyone's like, have you played Stalker? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, well, you should play Stalker. And I looked and it's like, ooh, that game doesn't look like it's held up very well. They're like, yeah, it's really old. But there's a new one coming out and hopefully they do what they said they would do and move away from all that blockchain NFT bullshit. But moving on beyond that, this game caught my attention because it looks cool. I really like the style of it. It's got this very eerie feeling, kind of like what we feel like the Fallout games maybe should be, but I understand that they're their, their own thing. Moving beyond that, I, I actually finally picked this game up recently, and I really, really want to see more of this game. I want to play it, honestly, and it's just a matter of finding time to play it, but with it being the enhanced edition, the next gen edition, I want to see what this new version may look like. What this new pitch is with the update that only came out for this game a whopping, what, like nine months after it was released? But I'll, I'll stop yapping. I'll just let them show me what they're going to show me. And then uh, I, I still want to play it regardless, unless this looks like terrible to poopy buttholes, but I don't think it will. What could be the strangest place for a heist? The abandoned and restricted Chernobyl? Full of soldiers? Okay. No. Oh, my it's dude. Even the whole picture. In the Chernobyl exclusion zone, you can walk the same path 100 times and then pick the bucket on the 101st try. Yes. Humans are the least of your Oh, oh good. There's more to Chernobyl than meets the eye. You need to prepare. I would not touch that with my bare hands. To undo all of it. Who will you need then? Someone with an eagle eye? A tactician? Once you find them all, what's next? Over here. Let's go. And they are, they are here. Enemy spotted! Oh, shit! Need your assistance, Igor. I'm starting to shoot right now! You missed! I don't know if it's a roguelike is the thing. It wasn't pitched originally as one. Um, and that's why I'm very confused right now because when we watched these previous trailers of this in the past, it didn't necessarily come off like a roguelike at all. In fact, it didn't come off very much like this video gave off in any circumstance. Less roguelite, more in-game exploration for resurrecting and failing missions. Okay. And, well, what well, the other part of it is, is that at least in anything that we watched before, I didn't get the impression that it was a, a, that much of a... I'm going to say an RPG experience, but that's not quite the right words that I want, because 
it felt more like you were alone, right? Uh, when we watched the previous ones, it felt like you were alone. Not that there wasn't anybody else, right? But that everybody else was not trustworthy. That you were one of the few survivors of the rogues and bandits that were trying to survive in a post-nuclear fallout, radiated alien zombie area around Chernobyl. Whereas this gave a much more planning and team oriented type approach and it's not it's not necessarily an off put it's just very different from the trailers that i had watched before there was significantly less of an eeriness to this trailer versus what i had seen previously and again i am not less interested it just changes my expectations of what game i'm going to be getting into because I expected almost almost like a suspense thriller, maybe like like leaning towards horror experience, whereas this feels less than that. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it, I'm sure like there's you know, some creepy monsters and like radiation ghosts and stuff like that, but just the general vibe of that trailer was much more actiony than what we had seen in trailers previous than that. Actually, kind of interested. And I'm not into roguelikes. I don't think it has any roguelike elements. Like, like Eve said, I think it's just a way to re essentially explain how to reload your save. <laughs> From like, the, 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 all right, you here's your save point. If you fail, we have a story reason that you had a goddamn save point. Is that you can blink through time using the powers of radiation. It's a very JRPG experience. It's also very different from your expectations, since that it wasn't that when I played it. So, are you saying that the game has changed since you've played it? Like, it has has the game evolved since where it was before? I mean, because of course games will evolve through early access. That's kind of something that's unavoidable in early access, is that games will be one thing, and then they'll grow and evolve into something else. And it can still be a part of what it was before. Your original expectation was not what it was delivered. And, and and that's probably it's a good thing that I'm watching this because I probably would have been not necessarily off-put by the game, but disappointed because I'd constructed a game in my mind from the previous media that is not representative of what the game genuinely is. Before, it almost seemed spoopy. And there were some spoopy elements here just... Maybe they just gave a lot less focus on them. We saw a lot more slower movement, survival, like needing to be a bit more purposeful in what you're doing and how you're doing it, how much time you have and where you go and what tools you have to get to those places. Whereas the just the general vibe about like, you need a hacker, you need a demolitionist, you need a sniper. And I'm like, what the fuck are we playing? It's not the same as what I was talking about before I hit play on the video. So yeah, I don't, I'm, I, I just need to think about that when I actually get around to playing it. Because I do genuinely want to play this game a lot. It, it's very high on my list of games. Um, when and in what form and where and how is a different question. But, yeah, interesting. That is, that is not what I expected at all when I clicked on this trailer. I was like, yeah, show me some of that upgraded spooky shit. And I was like, oh, no, that, that's not what you showed me at all. It is absolutely still a suspense thriller, but with a lot more survival aspect with includes team play elements. Okay, and, you know, one thing that I will say about that is that this is also, so, again, coming from the perspective of having not played the game, Presuming that the characters that you recruit are characters, that they are people in terms of they have their own personality, story and stuff that makes them feel tangible. And it's not just a sniper named Jim or if you go over here, you can recruit the sniper named Sarah or if you specialize Jimbo, you can he, he can be Jim instead, but you have to specialize him and get him enough RPG points to make him into a sniper. But if Jimbo dies, well, you can do this side quest and find the 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 one alien that talks, and he can be your sniper. And there's nothing special about them at all beyond how you acquire them and what they look like. If they are tangible people, that can make this even better from my perspective. You gotta specialize in Jimbo. You gotta specialize Jimbo. He actually is the best sniper. It just takes the most amount of time, money, resources, and JRBG points to get him there. 
But tell you, stat dump into Jimbo. Make him your sniper. He'll win the game for you. You just set him to, to you know, aggressive play style and sit back and watch heads explode. It's great. Um, but so if, if they do have personality, character, weight, impact, depth, that can make this type of survival experience even better because then it's not strictly about the presentation of you being alone and instead the struggle of you and your friends comrades, teammates, whatever you end up calling yourselves, uh, trying to survive in Chernobylite and reach some sort of goal at the end. This game looks way different. Trailer had such a different feel. Very different. Very different. But I am very glad that I watched this and saw such a different like viewpoint before going into it because I definitely would have had some some like knee jerk like what the fuck this is not what I was advertised I probably would still enjoy it but it's a matter of knowing what you're getting into disposable pawns yeah you know it's just like oh man I lost my sergeant crap we gotta go to the NPC hub and pay 17 fl flogins to recruit another one shucks Maybe I'll just reload my save so I don't lose them because I don't want to waste those resources and time. <laughs> Whereas I'd rather care about the characters that I'm playing with. But what do you think? To you watching right now, have you played this game already? Have you played through it? What are your thoughts on it? What were your expectations coming into it? And what were your expectations when you put it down, whether you finished it or not? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd really love to hear from you before I jump into this game. If you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere, two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. Speaking of Discord, we actually have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can check out together live on stream. Because we do stream four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And I'd love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to catch future videos, subscribe to the channel. But we actually have other stuff we're going to go check out. So if you do watch on the other videos on the channel or if I see you in the live stream. Thank you and enjoy.